Hello, welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you the proper way to fix a more complicated body slide file and solve those clipping issues for good. If you didn't see my first Outfit Studio video, go ahead and click up here and check it out first as it has more of an introduction to the tools and features available. This video might be a bit fast if you are a beginner. Well, let's get right into it. This jacket has quite a bad fit, especially compared to the shirt we modified in the last video. In order to fix this, we are going back into Outfit Studio. The easiest way is still just to click from Body Slide, that way it'll open this particular outfit in Outfit Studio for you. First, I'll follow the same basic steps in the last video. Importing the reference body, conforming all sliders, save project as, and uncheck the reference body. I'll close and reopen body slide, and build the mesh. Conforming all the sliders was not really the best way. You can see how the mesh is now really crunched in this area. It does not look very good, and while the shape is accurate, the bottom of it is just not how we want to see it. I mean, it is much better. It actually fits the shape now and doesn't clip with the shirt, so it might be okay with you, but I want it more realistic and smooth, so I'm gonna go back and try again. What I actually did here is reinstall the body slide files so that I can get the original body slides before I messed with them and we're gonna go through each slider one by one to see which ones need correction. This one still seems pretty even. Now this one doesn't seem to do anything, so we might have to come back to this one later. As you can see, this particular slider messes up the mesh a little down here. I don't like the look of that, so I'm going to edit this slider a little bit. I'll go ahead and go even smaller. Now we're just going to blend it in here just to have a bit of a smoother edge. As you're editing the sliders, feel free to go over here and drag it up and down so you can see how smoothly the vertexes are moved by that slider. Obviously, most of your sliders are not going to be at or even near 100%, so you want to make sure that it has a smooth transition. Make sure to change your camera angle regularly, especially when moving groups of vertices, so you can make sure you are getting the modifications you want. I'm pretty happy with the way this slider turned out, so we'll go ahead and stop editing it. It 
So this slider is the same one we had serious issues with working on the shirt earlier. While we could conform this slider and it would be easier, I think it will have the most issues as it would be stretching the leather quite a bit at the top and scrunching it down at the bottom. Really, we should do some work on the mesh or some sort of combination of the two. So if we deselect all the sliders and only select this specific one, we can go up to slider and click conform selected. Just like I said, it stretches the top here pretty bad and scrunches the bottom down, which makes it look very unrealistic. So we could clear the slider data and start from scratch manipulating the mesh, or we could use some of the slider data and modify it a little. Now that I cleared all the slider data, the jacket isn't going to move at all. Alternatively, we could use some slider data so it moves the jacket down, but not very much. To do that, click Edit on the slider and use Weaken Slider Data. For such a big change, you might have to click a million times. Now that the stretching is relatively minimal, we can fix the ugly parts down here manually. I could spend much more time manually aligning this part of the mesh, but I'm just focusing on the edges that will be most obvious in-game. And now that we got the scrunched up portions fixed, we just have to push in the mesh a bit up here and pull it out down here. I'm going to go with a much larger brush size because I want the changes to average out over a larger area and it prevents me from making the surface too bumpy and uneven. Specifically on this mesh, I want to avoid needing to use the smooth mesh tool because it is a double-sided mesh and may cause serious issues. You are going to want to keep the tool moving and only hold down your mouse button for a short period of time. This tool doesn't move the whole area the same amount, but instead works much like a dent in metal, mostly in the middle and a cone going out to the edges. Now that I have pushed the mesh in pretty far along the top, I'm gonna pull it out and away from the body a little bit at the bottom. You can see, it moves much more naturally now. Let's go ahead and check our changes with the preset. Make sure to reselect all the sliders.
it looks much closer. We still have a big gap on the top, and it's really tight at the bottom. But we don't have even close to as much wrinkling as we did before. Now let's just do a few more adjustments. There are still some little issues here, but that's only with a combination of sliders. Now that it looks pretty good, but with my preset seems to stick out to the sides a bit too much, we should fix this together slider. We still have some issues here. Let's try to figure out which of these sliders needs tweaking the most. So you really want to edit the base mesh first, then the individual sliders, then the last thing you should do is edit some sliders with your preset selected. This is going to give you the most accurate sliders at every level and for every preset. So you can probably tell I spend most of my time working only on one side. That's because by default mirroring is on and my changes are also applying to the other side. If you're working on something asymmetrical, then make sure to toggle mirroring off.
Sorry if I'm moving my camera too much. There are some bumps and waviness in this mesh that I am trying to spot by using the contrast of the background. Honestly, I should have edited another slider for some of this width because it looks better at 100 than at 0, but it's good enough for now. Wow, it's looking really good so far. You can see while Outfit Studio is a bit time consuming, it can have fantastic results. One thing that you can do while editing a jacket or armor piece is import another outfit that will go with it. Go to File, Import, From NIF, navigate to your body slide output folder, and under Meshes, find the other outfit you want to check clipping with. Doing it this way will import the completed mesh, so it won't interact with your sliders in Outfit Studio. Just make sure you remember to delete the one you imported before you save it, otherwise they will be linked together. Once you are satisfied with the way it looks, make sure to save it. Uncheck this box if your outfit didn't already have a reference body in Body Slide. Go ahead and close Outfit Studio and restart Body Slide before building your outfit with it. Now let's go ahead and see how it looks in game. As you can tell, it looks way nicer than when I started. I could have spent a little more time getting it perfect, but I am very happy with the results. I hope in this video you learned a lot more about how to properly fix clipping outfits. If you have an outfit that needs to be converted to a different body style or doesn't have body slide files at all, go ahead and click up here on this video to find out how you can do it yourself. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and drop a comment below if you have any questions. Subscribe to my channel if you're looking forward to the next video. Thanks for watching.